Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a few videos ago you may have seen that I did a quite biggish boots haul um, that consisted mostly of makeup and teeth hygiene products. If you want answers to why that is you go check out the video but I've been waiting to this video because I bought loads of makeup so I'm really eager to test it out so I thought why not do a you know full face first impressions of drugstore makeup i hope you like it and let's get into the video so firstly i'm going to start off with primer and the primer that i got is the nyx pore filler and it's just this one here oh my god i do not like the look of this this looks like some waxy sort of substance it's like a really it feels really spongy i've never ever came across a, pri a primer like this in my life and you all know me if you've watched my videos i love a good primer it's... oh my god it's like some sort of rubber like is it supposed to be like this oh i don't like it it feels like a it's like a form like a form sort of rubber oh my god this is honestly like this is gonna fall off my face okay so i'm just gonna massage that in it feels really um, how can I describe it? Oh, it feels a bit slimy. Oh my god, how red are my cheeks? It's really hot today and really sunny, so please excuse if my cheeks get rosy because there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so this just feels like the strangest thing. Like, my hands feel really, like, satiny. I mean, my face does feel really soft. In terms of, like, consistency, I'm not a fan of it, so I'm hoping it does the job. Next we will move on to foundation and for foundation I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Normal to Oily Skin this one here and I got it in the shade 102 and if you saw my boots haul video you would have seen me say that I found it really difficult to find a shade that would suit my skin tone. I found that the Fit Me shades were more like yellowy based whereas I need a like pink toned foundation because I mean hello I've got rosy cheeks naturally so I need a pink tone foundation to kind of like balance it out if that makes any sense but I have heard a lot of good things about this foundation so I'm hoping it becomes like one of my everyday favourites so I'm going to put some onto my hand okay okay so it's a little bit watery but I mean that's fine. So I've just put like that much on my hand and I'm going to take a brush and just like apply it all to my face. I'm hoping, oh this might be a little bit lighter for me. Oh actually. Hmm. Let's give it a go. It's not looking too bad actually. A little bit goes a long way I'm noticing. I mean I only put a little bit on there and it's covered like half my face. It feels really lightweight, which is nice. I really, I'm not into like heavy foundations anymore. I have nothing bad to say about this. Okay, so next I actually do have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because I thought, why not? I've heard really great things about this. So it's just that one there. I got the foundation, so why not conceal with the same thing? And I got this in the shade Ivory. I'm just gonna go under. Ooh, and straight away that's like really creamy. Oh wow, that looks like a lot. It's like a really, really nice. Oh, wow, I really like that. That just like glides on so smooth. I hate concealers that drag your skin, and that was just like effortless. So I'm just gonna blend that in with a beauty blender, which I probably should have dampened first, but I forgot. Okay, so that's definitely brightened up the under eye. It's really like blendable. Oh, I like that. So for powder, I've got the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. Just this one here. Oh, it's a bit of a... It's very sunny today, so excuse the glares. Okay, so it's probably better if I show you. There, so it's that one there. I know you've heard this. Everyone's used this at some point. Let's give it a go. And I thought I would get it in Transparent because... Well, I think not. So, I'm just gonna powder up and keep that in place and it is a very hot day so that will be the test next i'm going to go in with contour and for contour i got the sleek 
makeup duo it's contour and highlight just like there and if you watch my boots haul video you will know that I accidentally picked up this up in the shade medium I say accidentally I couldn't remember if I'd done it on purpose or if it was an accident because obviously I am like pale skinned light skinned so the light shade probably would have done me but I feel like there's a reason why I picked this up I mean it is looking a bit dark but I feel like I did it on purpose knowing me I've probably just done something stupid and picked up the wrong shade so yeah but we'll try it if it doesn't work it's fine it wasn't Sleek's fault it was my fault I'm just going to take the contour shade on a Sephora brush I'm just going to put a little bit on there for now tap it off and oh <gasps> Dang. I think maybe I just put a bit too much on then. That is a lot of product. Okay. I'm gonna blend that out. It's okay. Just dab that on next time. Maybe I definitely just did pick up the wrong shade. I'm gonna take another brush and try and just... We'll see, that's really, really blendable. Wow. I'm actually really impressed. Success. Next, I'm gonna do highlight. And for highlight, I've got the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, which is this one. I'm a bit nervous about this because I've never used a liquid highlight before. I've just used like a standard powder one. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out. So I think what I'm gonna do is... Did anybody see that? I just pressed it and it squirted all over the bed. Okay. So it just looks like this, and it's actually a really pretty, like, pink. Like, it's got, like, a bit of silver in there as well. That's, oh my god, that's so pretty. Like a little pearl. So I think what I'm going to do is just take a dot, a few dots like that. Can you see that? And then just with the one for my finger, like, blend. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I actually really, really like that. <gasps> Look at that glow, man. God damn. Okay, so we'll do the same on the other side. And <gasps> just dab that in. What? <gasps> oh, okay, maybe I put a bit too much on this side. But it's fine, we're gonna blend. Blend it out. Shine. Whatever's left on my finger, I'm just going to take on my cupid spot and then just a little bit down my nose. I'm super impressed by this. Next, I'm going to move on to um, eyeshadow eyeshadow so for eyeshadow i've got this um obsession makeup london palette i've never heard of obsession like the brand until i went to boots and got this i was really intrigued because like the palettes were really good and i thought why not i love a good eyeshadow palette and you get so many shades with this one i mean look at them like yes there are so many like warm toned shades in this and the names of these i am like obsessed with there is like Homewrecker, Rebound, Tomboy, Hustle. I mean, this is some like bougie names. All the top row are matte shades and all the bottom row are like um, shiny or there's these like marble effect ones here. That one. I find them really like interesting. I know what I'm going to do first. I'm just going to take a brush and take the shade Housewife which is just this one here, and just use that as like the base for the eyeshadow. I'm excited to see, you know, how these apply and how they blend. Also with these, what makes them even better is that they are cruelty free and vegan. So I'm all for it. Okay, so I'm kind of drawn to this shade here, which is Swish. So I think I'm just gonna use that on like the crease. Ooh. 
Oh, these are really pigmented. Oh, wow. Oh, these are nice. I can tell I'm gonna like these. Like, they're so blendable. Like, how quick have I just done that? Okay, so I think I'm gonna take the shade Rebound, just this one here, and it's like a dark, very sort of red, it looks like. So I'm just gonna take this on the flat end of a brush, tap it on, and the brushes pick up a lot of product. So I think like a little bit, again, will go a long way. So I'm gonna take that and just put it on the inner corners and outer corners of my eye. <clears throat> oh, I think I just swallowed some. Okay. And then just onto my crease. And then I'm just gonna blend that in. These blend so well, like, what? Like, how easy is that just blended in? Do I have any fallout? No, oh my gosh, I actually don't have any fallout. I knew I was gonna like this brand. Okay, so now I have done that, I'm gonna take the shade Get Freaky which is just this shimmer shade down here. And this is like a pinkish berry toned. So it's a little bit lighter than what we've just put on. I'm take that on the other end of the brush and just put it in the center of my eyelid. I feel like these shimmer shades would be amazing for like a cut crease. Probably should have done that. I feel like there's something missing. What is it? Maybe something a bit darker. I'm gonna take another brush and just take this frappe shade here, that dark brown, and then try and like blend that in somewhere because I feel like there's something definitely missing. That's definitely 10 times better. Okay, so I've just gone in and done this eye. I will say while I was doing this eye, I did notice a bit of fallout. So, I mean, it was just a bit, but obviously I said that there wasn't any, but there was some, so I'm gonna let you know. But yeah, so I've just finished this eye, cleaned it up, and now um, just for the inner corner, I'm gonna take the shade Foreplay, just this one down here, like the marble effect, and just put that in my inner corner. Because it just seems like a nice inner corner shade. And it's like a pink sort of sparkly colour. There we go. And this is a bit like of a different look for me. Because like I said I'm not used to this sort of warm toned vibe. But I'm enjoying it so far. So next I'm going to do eyeliner. And for eyeliner. Eyeliner? Eyeliner. I'm going to take the NYX two time... Yeah, NYX Two Timer Felt It Liner. And this is just like a cold crow on one end. And then on the other end, it has a felt liner. Two for the price of one, which I love because obviously sometimes you want felt on top, sometimes you want coal and you can smudge it out. Sometimes you want felt on top and coal on bottom. So you have so many options with this, which I really like. So the only thing I will say about this is I'm not too sure about the thin like nub, I'm used to like a more thicker um, tip. So, we'll see how I go. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, this doesn't really seem to be like applying very well over the eyeshadow. I feel like I'm like going back and forth a few times. And it's kind of like separating, like when I'm doing a line, it's like drawing, stopping, drawing, stopping. Don't know if I need to give it a good shake. I don't know if it's the eyeshadow or if it's the eyeliner. Okay, so far I'm not enjoying this.
did I, have I picked up like a really dry one? Because this is just not applying at all. Like this is a lot of work. Like nothing is coming out. What is going on? Okay, okay. So I've just rubbed it on my hand and there's some come out. So I hope we've got it. Okay, this is really amazing. I'm tempted to go get something else because this is really annoying me, but I want to finish it off. Okay, so I think I might have to just do this. this to me okay I don't know what is going on with this pen but I'm getting really frustrated and my eyeliner is a complete mess I mean I don't think I can use this oh, I'm so disappointed okay so I've just gone ahead and done my eyeliner with my collection felt pen because that was an effort. I'm so, so disappointed in that product. I've never not liked a NYX product that I can remember. And that is the first product that I actually really like don't like and I would not recommend. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with mascara. And for mascara, I picked the Barry M, that's how I roll waterproof black mascara. This is a specially designed brush to lift and curl lashes. And, oh, that's so satisfying. Let's see how this one goes. And the brush is really thin. It's not too thick, so I think it's going to be okay to apply. And it's just pl pl plastic, plastic bristles. Okay, so this is not doing anything. <laughs> I don't want to be disappointed in products. If I put a bit more on there. Like, it's literally not doing anything. Okay. I feel like my lashes are not like curling or elongating, they're just, I mean, you can't even see it. I feel like the applicator, like this bit of the wand is really flimsy, like I can feel it moving when I'm applying, so that's kind of off-putting. Um, oh God. Let's try this one. And I feel, I feel like it's just not, like, latching to my lashes very well. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't even waterproof. But I don't really fancy throwing any water on myself to test it. Or sitting here and crying. I mean, my lashes have never looked so bare. Next, I think I'm going to move on to brows. So for brows, I picked up another Obsession product. And it is this little brow pomade. And it is this here. And again, if you watch my boots haul, you would know that, once again, I think I picked up the wrong shade. I know. I'm useless. I picked up the shade medium, and usually, in products, I'm a dark brown. So I don't know how this is going to go. Also, I've never used a pomade before. Um, I find them really kind of intimidating. So, I don't really know how I'm going to apply this, or how this is going to go. But it comes with this little brush. So, I think I'm just going to use this to try and do it. Um... But just bear with me okay also as this foundation is settling i'm not liking the coverage obviously the redness of my cheeks is still like peeking through and that's something that i tend to want to hide um just because i don't really like it and i feel like it's not that great of a coverage but i mean it could just be because it's warm um but i actually don't feel too like hot <sighs> Why is makeup so stressful? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try and go in with this brow pomade. So I'm just gonna take a bit on the like angled end of this brush, which I think is what you're supposed to do. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so I don't really know how much of this to take. So I'm just gonna take a bit and see how it goes. So. Oh. 
I think that's just gonna have to do for that side. If you're looking for brow tutorials, definitely do not come to me, because I am not your girl. I think I can actually get away with having this shade. It definitely gives that like natural brow effect. Like it doesn't look too false. I mean, I've clumped it a bit there. Brows done, sort of <laughs> attempted. Last but not least, I think lips. So for lips, again, it's an obsession makeup one. I was really intrigued by it. So I thought I would just get a few and I love lip kits. Um, So I got this lip kit with liquid lip liner. No, I didn't. With a lip liner and liquid lipstick in the shade Booty Call. Um, and I just, like I said, I just love the names of their products. Like they're so like sassy and appealing, I think is a word. I think I'm just chatting shit. I also love their packaging. It's really like matte and like funky and just kind of like simple. So I'm really loving that. Okay, so this is the lip liner and it's just a nice, it looks like a purpley brown shade, that one there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. The only thing I would say about this is the end kind of feels sharp. I'm like, it looks so strange. It does feel a little bit sharp, but I'm guessing once I've used it and obviously it like wears down. I don't know how I feel about this shade. I feel like it looks, it like applies a lot darker than it looks okay so i look really crazy right now i look so like naive i feel like the lip liner is a lot darker than the liquid lipstick and i feel like it's gonna look weird but we'll see okay yeah this looks definitely like purplish in the tube so let's have a look and see how this applies What? Are you kidding me? What? Like, how does that even make sense? How are those two a match? What? That's, that's honestly ridiculous. Like the shade itself, I actually don't mind. Like I really like the shade, but pairing it up with a lip liner, I'm just gonna have to try like, wipe it away. That's better. I'm just trying to wipe it away with the liquid lipstick. Okay, so now I have like blended, well, I've kind of pretty much wiped away the liner with the liquid lipstick I <sighs> this is just not a good look I mean the liquid lipstick itself I don't mind the shade of and it's it, like dried really quick the only thing is I can see like it's really drying like I can see all the like lines in my lips can you see that Mm, that's not good is it i hate a disappointing video <laughs> but i suppose that is the point of testing them out because now i feel like i just look crazy with all this on my face yeah like i just feel like i look too pale my lips are too dark and this was just a fail that is everything that i bought so i'm gonna say that my favorite thing were the concealer the eyeshadow palette definitely the liquid illuminator those are my three favorite things my least favorites are probably the lip liner definitely liquid lipstick i like the color like at the end but i'm not a fan of how drying it is the eyeliner never want to see it again that was just a big fail and the foundation i am not liking which i really hate to say maybe i just need to put more on over my cheeks because i'm not enjoying this like redness at all i'm really sorry that this was kind of a disappointing video but i mean that's the whole point of like reviews and testing so we know what works and what doesn't work 
um, so you guys know, you know, how things are. Like, I can test it for you. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like drugstore testing first impression sort of videos and if you would like to see more of them from me. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not to see more videos from myself. Yeah, so I hope you all have a really great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!